Big crowd here at the Garden. A tremendous crowd. That man, fellas, is a is an athlete, uh, an entertainer, a prize fighter that I think all of us will remember as as long as we watch this sport. I just think he is uh, an he's certainly incredible, got outstanding uh, prize fighter. I think he's established too that he's got the crowd with him by that uh, rousing cheer they gave him as he entered the ring. In comes Palomino, Carlos Palomino, former welterweight champion of the world. Palomino. They like him too. Looks a little bigger than Roberto. You know, his fist, his fist is two and a half inches larger than Duran's. Than Palomino's. Stone hands. Than exactly. stone hands. They call Duran stone hands, and Palomino's fists are actually two and a half inches larger. Which Around. gives you an example of the fact that he's a, Palomino is 5'9", Duran is 5'7", two inches and shorter. And he has a three and a half inch advantage in the reach. Uh, sometimes the style of the fight is determines whether that's important or not. We'll have to see. But he's a bigger boned individual. Car Carlos is fighting a smaller man tonight. But he's fighting probably pound for pound the roughest fighter in the ring today. Uh, let's go up to Bill Merriman. Ladies and gentlemen, promoter <laughs> Don King proudly presents a 10-round dream match between two scintillating, sizzling, and sensational welterweights. This match is sanctioned by the World Boxing Council, Jose Suleiman, President. Introducing the judges, Harold Letterman and Tony Castellano. Referee, Arthur McKenzie. Introducing, in the blue corner, from Huntington Beach, California, wearing white trunks with green stripes, and weighing Tony. 145 and 3 quarters pounds, former world welterweight champion, Carlos Palomino! Palomino! And his opponent in the red corner hails from La Ciudad de Panama in La Nación Hermosa de Panama! Championship introduction, fellas. <laughs> I never heard anything like it. Johnny Addy's rolling over in his grave. <laughs> Jimmy Lennon must be unhappy. <laughs> well, I think we're in for a very exciting evening, boys. Well, what we have to watch here, Palomino has traditionally been a slow starter. He, he has acknowledged himself that he has to get off much faster than he normally has. The rules. They're both are, thinking the same thing. And he generally has been hit early in the fight. Scoring by the referee and two judges is the bell for round one. Duran in the dark trunks, Palomino in the white. The scoring is on the 10-point must system, which is a departure here in New York State, which usually goes on the round system. But these fights, uh, they, this fight and the heavyweight championship fight are being fought under the aegis of the World Boxing Council, and they are using their rules. The mandatory eight count is in effect, but the three knockdown rule has been waived. Palomino shaken a little bit by that left hand of Duran. Duran pressing the action, looking as though he's after a quick knockout. 
Both young men can fire hard, short punches. They don't need a lot of punching room. Outside of that one flurry by Duran, it's been a rather quiet round. Neither looking overconfident, by the way. Both of them are savage body punches, and Palomino particularly likes to go to the body early in the fight. And Duran is leaving the body wide open at the moment. He is protecting the chin, as is Palomino, both keeping the gloves up fairly high. Palomino nimble afoot. Duran has him cornered, and that's dangerous. Palomino takes the play away on the inside. Palomino opens up. Right now, this is a test of their strength in there. Yeah, they're just touching each other, feeling each other, <laughs> sampling. They'll explode soon. Big punch by Duran, but Palomino took it well. Palomino seems a little the more calculating of the two here in round one, with less than a minute to go. He had to be shaken by those blows. Palomino, even after taking him, actually forces Duran across the ring. Big punches by the ex-lightweight champion. 12 seconds to go in the round. Now it's becoming a big round for Pallet for Duran. Now let's join our host, Len Burma. Don, you have to be impressed with this man, Roberto Duran, moving up from the lightweights to the welterweights, acquitting himself not only quite well, but easily winning the round over Carlos Palomino. Give round one to Roberto Duran. Well, coming up on Home Box Office, starting Sunday, July 8th, a world television premiere, The Seekers. Stars in this, Randolph Mantu, George Hamilton, Brian Keith, Robert Reed, Barbara Rush. It's book three of John Jake's runaway best-selling series of the Kent Family Chronicles. Home Box Office presenting a world television premiere, The Seekers. More outstanding programming, both entertainment and sports, right here on Home Box Office. And right here, you're seeing Dream Fight. Round number one goes to Duran. Let's go back to Don Dunphy at ringside. All right, Len. Duran is 28 years old. He's 5 feet 7. Palomino is 29. He's 5 feet 9. Former welterweight champion Palomino, former lightweight champion Duran, round two. The first round went about as we expected. Palomino did start slowly. Duran did try to get to him. Duran is trying to end it quickly, and the test is, will he get discouraged if Palomino takes his best shots as he did in round one? Palomino won't quit. One thing, one thing that should be pointed out is that Duran is a, a very resourceful fighter now. He's not the wild kid that he was five or six years ago. Uh, You're absolutely right. He doesn't right there. expose his chin needlessly. You no, know, and he's doing a lot of fainting in this fight. A little wild over the head. Carlos anticipated. His hands look quicker, Neil. Yep. Palomino really hasn't opened up because he has not had a chance. Duran has taken the play away from him all the way. He has Palomino countering. Uh, he's been beating Palomino to the punch, and then Palomino has been looking to counter inside, tie him up. Half the round is gone, and Arthur McCanty, one of our better officials, gets him apart. Carlos doesn't know quite what to do with him yet. 
Duran is dominating the fight so far. We're in round two. Scheduled for ten. Alamino holding Duran against the ropes. With honors about even on the inside. Now it's Duran taking the play away again. Palomino let go to, to unleash a barrage, but Duran beat him to the punch and beats him again. With left hook. Question is, will Duran punch himself out? Or punch Carlos Palomino out. 25 seconds left to go in the round. A big round for Duran. Palomino stays on top, but takes a battering as the referee gets him apart. Palomino's in trouble. He's holding on, but he can't tie up Duran for too long. The bell. Sure, that a big round for Roberto Duran. You know, that ex Don, that exchange on the ropes may have been very significant. Palomino had Duran with his back to the ropes, and Duran was dominating Palomino. Only two men in the history of boxing have been lightweight champions have gone on to be well-away champions, Barney Ross and Henry Armstrong. And the way Duran looks now, he is capable of handling someone of this size. Somebody's hands being typed. Oh, Larry Holmes. Look at that record. 30 fights, 30 wins, 21 knockouts. The WBC heavyweight champion of the world, Larry Holmes, in his dressing room, waiting for his fight with Mike Weaver. I think Carlos is going to come back in this round. Well, he'd better. Another round time or two like him. that, he'll have too far to come back. It's time for him. The right cheekbone of Palomino seems a little bit puffed. Palomino has just not been able to mount, to mount an attack, and he is such a good fighter. Duran has not let him. Palomino trying to keep him off with the jab, not succeeding. Duran bobbing and weaving. That left hook, that left hook of Duran has landed again and again. Palomino seems to have no defense for it. Now he's a boss for the right as well. He does carry his, his gloves a little low at times. He drops them when he punches uh, Palomino, and that's when he gets nailed. Roberto seems to have a little too much speed so far for Carlos. Duran is smiling. He's, he's actually laughing at Palomino. The young man loves to fight. Palomino decided to trade with him for just, just a moment. That's all. As we see, Palomino takes a good punch. This is a fight between a great, great small man against a good, bigger man. And right now, the great, great small man is dominating the bigger man. St. Duran enjoys the combat. He's a true professional. Again beating Palomino to the punch. Those punches come so fast, Palomino has the glove up, but he can't block them. Unless Palomino can change the course of this fight, he most certainly will be knocked out. He's never been knocked out. Well, it's early. It's only round three. As we always say, anything can happen. At the moment, it's a one-sided 
by Palomino comes back. Perfect punch by Palomino. His best punch so far. So far. Well, let's see and how Duran reacts to that punch. Just smiles. Palomino has been looking to size up Duran, gauge his speed, gauge the geometry of the ring. Perhaps for the first time in those last 15 or 20 seconds, he had Palomino, he had Duran measured where he's been trying to counter over him, and he did. But he's behind by three rounds now. That means he's got to win six of the next seven rounds to win the fight. So he doesn't have time to do any measuring anymore. Let's take a look at a rerun. In the corner. Body punched by Duran after he mixes the left hook. It's a good right hand punch by Carlos, but it, he needs much more of that. Much, much more, and with both hands. And many more. And many more. And many more. There's Palomino. <coughs> He's smiling. Both young men He's smiling. smiling. Former heavyweight champion Floyd Patterson. Floyd Patterson is a member of the Boxing Commission here in New York. Round four. Duran in the dark trunk, Palomino in the white. It's scheduled for 10 rounds. Arthur McCanty nimbly moving around as the referee. It's Duran with those quick hands again, getting right speed. by the guard. Palomino looks as though he's gonna try to do something now. Straight right hand, partially blocked. Both young men have good jabs. They keep their heads moving to get away from those jabs. I think what you're seeing here now in Palomino is that he really is a thoroughbred. He's taking some good whacks against a great fighter. He's now walking at him. He's, uh, he's still trying to analyze. He's still trying to get to him. Palomino doing some good defensive work now, and while he might. He's hitting in combinations too, which will help his fight. The round is not quite as accurate as he was in the first three rounds. But Duran is still making the fight. Palomino is not running away by any means. Duran has gone to smiling again. Quick left took that time. Palomino seems surprised. He saw it coming but couldn't get out. You may not notice it, but Palomino is scoring on the inside. His punches are not as spectacular, but they are there. This is a uh, real, real good fight. Palomino looks none the worse for wear right now. Still got that good jab. He's not been able to mount a good combination, however. Good counter punch by Palomino. One thing he's managed to do, Don uh, Duran, is frustrate Palomino's body attack. Palomino generally wears his opponents down with a vicious body attack in the early rounds. He really hasn't been very effective to the body. He just with a vicious left hook while you were talking, Larry. Palomino did. But now he's trying to go to the body. There's the back. There he goes. First good round. Well, I've got it four for four for Duran so far, Larry. So do I, Don. Even though I think the last round was the closest of the four. What do you think, Ryan? Well, I saw the last round as a tie. Did you? Yeah, a draw. You're very charitable. I'm very charitable. <laughs> Why not? I'm not scoring. <laughs> I'm unofficial. <laughs> I'm unofficial. That young lady is scoring. You know, Duran, although he's two years younger than Palomino, actually has been fighting five years longer. Here's Larry Holmes. Uh, in his dressing room, he's starting to get warmed up. 
uh, his body is oiled over and he's working up a little bit of a sweat. That's his manager, Richie Giacchetti, who brought him along and uh, got him into the championship. Well, round five, the halfway mark is coming up. Ray Arcel talking to uh, Roberto Duran. Ray, the veteran trainer, around years and years, maybe 50 of them. Alamino reaching Duran with that jab now, something he couldn't do earlier. Solid shot by Roberto. This is what I thought would happen right now. We're over in Duran's corner, and it's very much Duran on the scoring end. And he's got Palomino a little gun shy again. Notice how Duran keeps that right hand around his ears. He's protecting himself against the left hook, and he's got it in perfect punching position as well. He's got a great style. Right from the very beginning, Duran kept Palomino from mounting any kind of a sustained attack. A minute to go in the round. That was a terrific good left hand punches. to the heart by, by Duran. Palomino countered well. Both missed. No knockdowns in the fight. Big shot. Well, that was his best shot. I don't know how hurt Palomino is, but he didn't stagger. He took it well, and he's fighting back. So often, a good box of Roberto Duran. Duran starts to laugh. A minute to go in round five. Fortunately for Palomino, he's riding some of those punches that hit him in the head. Now the crowd is now ordering Duran to knock his opponent out. The crowd wants a knockout now. taking the fight. Good Only left hand by, by Salamino. Good right hand. All it does is make Roberto smile. A good rally by Salamino. It's first. There's the bell. And now let's join our host, Len Berman. With Larry Holmes in his locker room, watching the fight on television, what's your reaction to Duran? He's tough. Yeah, well, I think he's uh, very awkward. Uh, by him being awkward, uh, he's given probably a little bit of time. I hope he doesn't move up to the heavyweight division. If he's doing it, he's serious trouble, because I'm the big trouble in the last game. I don't mind boosting the program as I was dying to the professor. He said, he's going to get out of line when he calls. We're going to come back later in this fight to talk to you about Mike Weaver. Okay. Okay. Back to ringside. Mike Weaver. Mike getting ready in his dressing room. Manager Don Manuel. Very carefully taping the hands. Actually, that's Ray Barnes, an old friend of mine, wrapping his hands. A terrific fighter, once beat Sugar Ray Robinson, but didn't get the decision. If the fight is going to turn, if the tide is going to turn at all, it will have to right in this round. <laughs> turned all right. A vicious right hand punch to the jaw. The mandatory eight count told by Even down timekeeper Billy Graham. We have two minutes and 37 seconds left in the round. That vicious right hand shot to the jaw sent Palomino to the canvas, and Carlos has never been knocked out, by the way. A record that could go by the boards tonight. 
I think Palomino had it in his mind to turn the tide, and he walked right into that right hand. This is the second time Carlos has ever been down. Duran fighting hard inside, trying for the knockout. He kept plenty of time on the round, over two minutes. Palomino trying to ride out the storm as Arthur McCanty gets him apart. He's cut on the ear, Carlos is. Blood pouring out behind Pal Palomino's left ear. So he's now getting pounded with that right hand. I haven't seen the cut yet. It's on Carlos. It's, it's in the ear. Behind the ramp, ear. Left yeah. ear. Be either behind or in the ear. We can't tell yet. It's not bothering his attack any. Takes a terrific punch. I don't know any other welterweight who could stand up under those punches by Duran. I'll tell you, Palomino has a lion's heart. More than a minute to go in the his chin to take those kinds That's of punches. Right. He's hurt. More than a minute still to in go there. in the round. There's he coming back. Palomino comes back surprisingly. Some of his best shots of the night. Never count a Mexican fighter out. Sometimes you have to hit him real hard just to wake him up. Well, he got re hit real hard, Ryan. Yeah. Still fighting. He has taken the play well, away. That's what it Ryan. takes. Palomino is up because he's been hit. I think he should have stayed in close. He was doing better. It has been a long round for Carlos Palomino, who was down in the opening second. Somehow has managed to survive. Seems to me that Palomino may have a very slight cut somewhere around the uh, right eye. He does it beginning to show. I don't think it's dangerous at this point. But along the right eye, there's a cut. Only 10 seconds to go in the round. Remember a man roared at her near the ring. Oh, Palomino, Palomino, at the bell. All of a sudden. Well, Duran got a little careless there, and he, he caught a three-punch combination. Larry Holmes in his dressing room, observing Larry Holmes on the screen. <laughs> there it is. Let's take a look at the end of that round. There's the There's knockdown. A knockdown first. That's right in the beginning. A left followed by a straight right in the opening seconds of the round. Did you notice that Duran's handlers had not even gotten out of the ring yet when that landed? Ray Arcel was still in there. He had a good shot of it. This is a fight between a street fighter. He's been fighting since he's seven years old, although he's two years younger than Palomino Duran. He's actually had five years more of experience. Palomino was a semi-professional baseball player and a college student and didn't take up boxing until he was 21. He's got Jackie McCoy giving him uh, smelling salts in the corner. Smelling salts. Round seven. And Palomino, he's so far behind on points. He's probably scored on the 10-point must system. 10 points to the winner of a round, 9 or less to the loser. I started to say before, if a man is floored at or near the ringing of the bell ending a round, he must arise by the count of 10, even though the bell is sounded, or be counted out. Palomino's left eye is beginning to swell. It's a bad sign. You've been catching too many of those right hands. Grazing punch. He's looking for an opening here. See how they eye each other? Concentration. Every so often, Palomino comes battling back. A gutsy fighter. Good left touch. Makes the man smile. Makes him laugh. corner right above our HBO cameras. Palomino beating Durant of the punch for a change. And now working the body. 
Palomino still has firepower, even though he is picking a lathering. This is a good fight. First, first time in the fight, Palomino is ahead in a round at this stage. And that may change. Beautiful exchange there. That was a classic exchange, John. Only quality thoroughbreds and fighters can do that. Now the eye is cut. Palomino has a bad cut, I believe, now over his right eye. Ron knows it, too. Now there's a danger that this fight could be stopped on a TKO, because it doesn't look like Duran can take him out. Well, it'll be a riot if he does. That right eye is a fight to stop. very puzzled. There's a right hand by Palomino. Well, I'm going to give Palomino this one round. <laughs> I'm giving him anything generous else. of you. Well, I think he deserved it. There's a picture of Roberto Duran, who, as it says, successfully defended the world lightweight title 12 times. Freddie Brown, Ray Arcel. I wonder if the two welterweight champions of the world are watching Roberto Duran tonight, because he's certainly ready for either of them. Here we have a picture of the uh, medication being applied to the right eye of uh, Carlos Palomino. He looks, he looks very unhappy now. Very unhappy. Here Let's we look at a replay here. There's Duran coming upstairs with a terrific shot to the, to the body. Another one to the left side and then a right hand that was a little high and behind but still was damaging enough to drive Palomino back. He hurts you wherever he hits you. The smile hurts. <laughs> Round eight. Three rounds to go. He's too quick tonight. One knockdown in the fight so far. Duran knocked Palomino down in the opening seconds of the sixth round. Dallas took the uh, mandatory eight count and has done fairly well since then. Duran, however, must be way ahead on the official point score. Our horse to us to run a bit. Well, Duran has proven to everybody's satisfaction that he can take a well away punch. And he just took two or three to fight right back. My hat is off to Roberto Duran. He has made me a believer. Look at the uppercut. And Duran comes firing back. Or rather, Palomino comes firing back. This is a great fight, ladies and gentlemen. And those uh, of you who really don't know about fights, you're seeing something that's rare. Even though Duran is dominating the fight, you're seeing action here. And in Duran's uh, quest for a knockout, he may leave himself wide open and suffer a damaging blow himself. Because he's coming in wide open now. Trying for the knockout. Palomino holding him against the rope. And digging the body. I think A.J. Liebling would have loved the way Duran loved the combat. Oh. Good right hand, hand by Duran. Yeah. Liebling was a great writer who loved to write about boxing. Sweet science, he called it. And uh, right. it doesn't get any sweeter than this. Oh! I don't know what helped Duran Palomino again. up that time. Yeah. He put his shoulder and his hip oh, and his toes on into that one. And still Palomino took it. Wow. I don't think there's a lightweight in the world that could have stood up to that oh, point. They'd have been counted out. Half a minute to go in round eight. Palomino 
has to think about his punches now. They're not coming automatically. Miranda. taking a punch like that that he can come back in the last 15 seconds. Now let's join our host, Len Berman. Don, we had mentioned earlier that we were wondering what kind of effect it would have on Roberto Duran that his surrogate father was killed tragically recently. Apparently, no effect whatsoever. Duran's incredible as we take another look at what he dishes out to Carlos Palomino. Let me tell you that starting Thursday, July 12th, here on Home Box Office, 7 o'clock, 6 o'clock Central Time, the Olympiad with Jesse Owens. As HBO Sports completes our Olympiad series with three dramatic episodes never before seen. The 800 meters, featuring some of the exciting races in the history of the event and the dynamic men who won them, such as Cuba's Alberto Juan Torina's thrilling, record-breaking victory at the 76 Olympics. That's the Olympiad, July 12th here on HBO. Let's get back to ringside for this dynamic Palomino Duran fight. Doc? Well, there he is, Roberto Duran with Nesta Quinones and Ray Arcel. Oh. Round nine of a ten-rounder. That's almost a miracle for Palomino to win this fight. It would also be a miracle maybe if he doesn't get knocked out. Yeah, he looks a little raggedy. But you never, never can tell. Duran is hitting him as Sunday punches now. Duran is just walking in oblivious to Palomino's punching power. Roberto Duran, who many think right now, pound for pound, is the best fighter in boxing. That's what they used to say about Sugar Ray Robinson. The comparisons will be coming. I think what uh, Duran is en route to doing now is confirming the fact that he really is pound for pound one of the greatest fighters who's ever lived. No right. question. Because the way he looks tonight, uh, the, whichever welterweight champion gives him a shot is going to be the former welterweight champion about 15 rounds or less later. Or less. <laughs> and I, I'm Larry, I'm sure they're both watching. <laughs> One knockdown in the fight. Palomino was down in the sixth round from a crushing right hand. Arthur McCanny doing a splendid job at the third man. Look at that quick right hand. And here he comes back. Amazing. I've seen him do it many times. I've seen him come back to win by knockout. Duran is just too much at this point. However, it is not as one-sided as it would call for stopping the fight. Oh no. Because every so often Palomino comes roaring back with some good shots. Like there. survival for the brilliant young Mexican-American, Palomino. The question is, will he, with a big 10th round ahead? Seconds to go in round nine. Duran is making a lot of believers tonight. The bell ending round nine. Tremendous round for the former lightweight champion. Arthur McCanny, the referee, goes over and takes a look at Palomino. I'm going to ask Arthur how he looked in there. Arthur, Arthur, how does Palomino look? How does Palomino look? He does look fresh. Thank you, Arthur. I don't uh, know if fresh is the Arthur word. Arthur McCanny, the uh, referee, said that Palomino was surprisingly fresh, and he, he said he looked fresh. <laughs> That's a difference. For those in the audience who aren't familiar with the welterweight picture, 
uh, the winner of this fight can get a shot at Wilfredo Benitez, who's the WBC champion, after Benitez presumably will fight Sugar Ray Leonard next December. Or he can fight Pe Pepino Cuevas, the WBA champion. Uh, Duran has indicated that he preferred to fight Cuevas, perhaps because uh, he might have difficulty getting Benitez in the ring. For those of you expecting to see our regular HBO program, we've interrupted our normal schedule to bring you this exciting night of professional boxing from Madison Square Garden in New York. The tenth and final round, Roberto Duran, former lightweight champion, making a very auspicious debut in the welterweight ranks against his top contender, although he's won other bouts. He's won four bouts against welterweight, but this is the toughest man he's met. Number one contender, Alex Palomino who I'm sure will no longer be the number one contender in another couple of minutes. And Palomino's knees buckled on that right hand. Duran is not protecting his lead, Don. He's not freezing the ball, you mean. Exactly. I'll tell you, he gives you three minutes of action every round. Two minutes left in the fight, just two. It's all Duran. If he lost one round, he only lost one. Maybe the uh, seventh round. He had Palomino down in the sixth, but couldn't keep him down. A tribute to uh, Palomino's heart. Duran laughing. Drowning. Oh. That old trick. What you saw there was the street kid in him coming out and taunting a beaten opponent. There's no mercy show here. Less than half a minute to go in the round as Palomino fights back. The crowd urging him on to the knockout. He's got one minute to do it. Again, in a neutral corner, in all corner, as a matter of fact. Took another hard right hand. He's taken way too many. A long 40 seconds to go in the fight. That's a long time. When you run against Roberto Duran of Panama. Enriquez, the interpreter, is the tall man in the tuxedo.
Okay, Larry, you ready? Larry. All right, we'll try to get to Carlos Palomino before the verdict is announced. Carlos, what are your feelings about the fight? Oh, as you can see, uh, I just, you know, I, I'm not, it's not what I used to be. You know, I, I, I don't have that, that hard drive at the end. Uh, he was very strong and he was very quick, which surprised me. I didn't expect that much quickness after he had put on that much weight. But, you know, that's the way boxing is. You know, uh, for some, there's others. And uh, I had a great career, and uh, I have to believe that this might be it. This is the end. Yes. How is his punching power compared to other well awaited you fought? Well, I fought harder punchers. You know, he surprised me. I don't know how run it was. What did he say to you, Carlos? Gracias, Carlos. Gracias. It was, uh, he said, uh, you know, thank you for the fight. Uh, it's a good fight. I told him that he's a tremendous fighter, that he's very quick. He surprised me by that. He said, that's right. Uh, I'm working on this, my keys because I know I was a long way. He's very quick. Let's hear the verdict. 99-90. Duran. I don't believe it was. Uh, I wasn't up to par. I wasn't what I, you know, what I know I can do. And maybe, uh, maybe he had something to do with it. Oh, definitely. You know, <laughs> much faster than I expected, and a lot more stronger than I expected him to be. Thank you very much, Carlos. You've been a terrific champion. I don't think that I'm going to get to Roberto Duran tonight. Too much celebrating going on by the Panamanian community here at Madison Square Garden. He doesn't speak English very well, but he speaks boxing as well as any man who ever lived, perhaps. Let's go back to ringside and Don Dunphy now. All right, Larry. Ryan, what did you think about the fight? Well, I, I'm, I've, uh, Roberto Duran has made me a believer once again. He made me a believer as a lightweight, and now he's made me a believer as a welterweight. He could be either champion, it is my guess. 